Hey YouTube gamers, it is Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. How are we all? Alright, so you would have seen something a little new at the start of this video. There's a whole new little giant little F pop up. Um, I've recently partnered with Freedom, which is a network on YouTube. Um, they've been wonderful so far, and this is not going to be one of those episodes where I turn and only talk about them for the entire episode. Um, so we've got something exciting coming up here. Uh, it's the most soldiers I've ever bought on this series. Not most ever. I bought 65 or something ridiculous one or so upon a time in another game. But we've got 46 new troops coming in. 46! So for those of you who are after a little bit of troop management, this is it. If not, if that's not your jam, check out Series 1. That's, that's more combat. Um, we're going to be doing more combat based um, in this. Just as I get those awesome soldiers, because I'll be doing a lot of leveling up with them, a lot of them will probably die. I'm also going to be getting beam weapons in five days, and then we're going to cancel report in six. But we're, before all that kicks off, we're going to covert op. So we're going to have a look at our first, very first covert operative, operation I should say. Um, and that's going to be kind of cool as well, because we're going to go and rescue Hudson, who's currently off on the mission. And if you don't go and collect her, then she passes on. Mm. So let's go for some activity. Oh shit, an abduction site. Ah, oh, crazy. Alright, let's see where when we go. Very difficult Australia. Difficult there. Well, I don't really want a sniper their way. I like doing things my way. Scientists we don't need. We're, we're buying, we're building like four labs just to get over that little science hub. Um... We don't really need the engineers either. So I'm just taking stock of what's going on. I I need some other op links. Australia will go into panic. It might not necessarily be a bad thing. It's only Australia. We've already got the bonus from it. Um. Oh yeah, so lab op link in a couple of days, sixteen days, but that's ten days. 11 days after the cancer report. That's that's not useful at all. And the other one is Brazil. Who's in trouble? Uh, well, we, we we don't have much of a choice. We've got to go to Australia. Alright, save Sydney. Do we have the housing for a... Er, facilities. Alien containment in 10. So there's no point in us taking the... Uh, what are they called? Arc throwers. No, that's not the button I want. That's the button I want. So I'm going to give him a scope. And I'm going to give white. A frag grenade because they're about a scopes apparently. I'm not going to be taking white or... Oh, actually it is, it is difficult. I'm going to take white and I'll take him. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those guys just because... Um, I kind of want them to have um, some leveling up abilities. That'd be nice for them. And we'll give her a color as well. Let's like make it. Uh, let's make it light blue. I forgot light blue. No, I don't. Cool. See you on the other side of the highlights, guys.
Secured. Eyes on the prize. Пускаю ракету. Alright, so we got back with pretty much without a scratch. Uh, Donaldson got promoted, she's been given deep pockets, and she's won off the max rank colonel. Um, and as a support, her aim is meant to be a maximum of a 90, she's at a 91, so we're seeing a positive from her. And her will is 102. 102, Jesus, that is intense. Um, we're hopefully going to give her side training when that pops up. So panic is increased, panic in Australia has decreased. Let's have a look at the situation room, let's have a look. Alright, so Brazil's red, Australia's down to one, which is fantastic. We'll probably get a terror mission in Brazil next time. Nigeria finally popped up, but oh, we've already put uh, something there. Alright, so we've got a covert op that's kicking off. Um, panic in Brazil, yep, we knew that was going to happen. Let's have a look. It's in the extraction squad. Launch mission. Oh, I'm call it King. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Oh, yeah, I have. He's got purple. Alright, let's go. See you on the other side of the highlights, guys. The data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding. Hey guys, a little surprise for you. I decided not to do highlights of this one because it's the first exalt and I thought I'd show you through the entirety of the combat. Alright, so... Just scan through to my guy. So Hudson's in here and she's protecting the encoder. Uh, yeah, it looks like she is. No, 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 she's in the transmitter. So what I generally do is I generally leave her in here but with a field of vision and just chuck her on overwatch because she's also got opportunists which reduces that 15% uh, chance of miss. Alright, so normally you have the first turn or two without exalt in the field of operation or the operational area or whatever you want to call it. Um, generally, I, I'm a little cautious about this still just in case but I also move forward my troops pretty rapidly by comparison to how I normally do things. Normally I'm a bit more cautious and I go through and you can see that I'll do lots of overwatches, I'll do lots of one move, scout the area, then do a second move and not just rush forward like I am. Um, this is one of the maps from the base game so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, so I kinda know that I need to get all my guys into that area as quickly as possible because I need to be able to cover all sides of that zone and I'm probably even going to have to move Hudson out there as well. Generally with the Exalt missions you can just sort of get into the encoder and as long as you're set up in the encoder or surrounding the encoder, here they go, they are on the field, you can clear them out of that area and then um, kill them off one by one Oh, nice Hudson. Three damage from a pistol. That's nice. Alright, so if the encoder is destroyed or um, hacked, then your transmitter is the only thing you've got left. And in this mission, at least, the transmitter is in a very secure location inside there. 
So what do we should go? We should go an 89 to hit that guy. An 89 to hit that guy who's already damaged. Let's go the already damaged guy. Actually, no. Let's go him. Because if we can put two damage on, that's enough damage that a... Uh, oh, damn. I was hoping that I could take him out with one of my uh, heavy units. So, where can I put you that's safe? Um, I think there will do it. No shots on. Oh, no, she got a shot on. 92%, 2 damage. That's just not good enough. And I'm really grateful that beam weaponry is coming my way very soon. Take the numbers, 76%. Seriously, three? Let's move Tank up to here. Let's hope he gets he gets shots on both. We'll leave him there for the moment. I want to move Bellyori to there. And see what Bellyori can get a shot on. He can get a shot on that guy who's got no, practically no cover against him. And 96. And that guy there. Right, let's see. Matthews, Matthews, Matthews. No way good for you. Werewolf. Um, again, same problem with you. Can't really move you anywhere. Uh, that'll do, I guess. 52. Let's see if I can get the grenade up there. Not quite. Let's take to 52%. It's pretty decent. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, actually, she has a shot. 74% right at the back of the field. No. He hasn't got a shot now. He's got a shot. He's the only one that has the shot. He needs to do max damn. Oh, far out. Almost moves. Alexi to there. So that way, next turn, he's a bit closer. Um, and we'll move her to there. Because she's got bullet storm, she can act twice. Yep. If they end the next turn with people inside, we lose the encoder. Alright, so this just became a little bit harder. It might become one of those scenarios where I bomb that entire area heavily, lose the encoder and fall back to the transmitter. Alright, so how am I going to do this? No, damn, that friendly fire warning is what I didn't want to say. Because it means I'll take out the encoder. Let's just turn and take them out one by one. Oh man, two damage, really? Seriously, a miss? Come on, why do you? A better shot than that. Thank you. Kill that guy. Oh, she got a shot on. kill him. He's only one hit point, but let's just get rid of him. Probably could have used Hudson to take him out, which is probably the dumb thing. Damn it. Okay. 93% chance. 3 damage. Not good enough. Oh, but close, he was in close combat specialist. There we go. Got the kill. Nicely done, Kingy. Damn. Just got another shot. Right, so a lot of my guys are running low on ammo or are out. And that was just a terrible shot by Yori. She's the last one with shots. Alright, so we've lost the encoder. It's gone. 
which means they're now down to the transmitter always so they're going to be going in on Hudson's location so I'm going to get my guys in there and defend it ASAP He's dead. Out of bullets. And then rapid fire on this guy. Second shot. Kill. King is in a vulnerable position, however. We can fix this. As long as it doesn't go wide. Of course. As soon as I say as long as it doesn't go wide, it goes wide. Can she see it that side? I'm on the move. Yep, of course. Cool. She can't miss from there either. Let's try this rocket tactic again. Oh, it went wide, but it still hit. Oh, I was lucky it didn't blow up the um, truck a bit. Uh, let's start to fall back. Who forgot to move it? These three. Move her inside. Can't quite move tank inside yet either, so let's move him there. Put him on overwatch. Put her on overwatch. And I'll turn the field around. So it doesn't look weird. There we go. Damn, he's becoming a better and better shot every turn. Obviously, hashtag sarcasm. Alright, so he's the only exalt that I know of at this point, and he's about to have shots on him by Alexi, who misses. No shot by Hudson, who gets three on him, good, that's better than nothing. Alright. Wow, I actually kind of thought that that would help her with her ability to see him. She can't see him either now. Just rapid fire at him. Man, King is becoming a pistol legend. Move her down there and reload her weapon. Let's put him on Overwatch because I will have to reload these guys' weapons. Oh, cool! So we got all the um, few ones. That's not too bad. He's down at one hit point, and someone's taking a reactive shot. Bow Yuri. Hey, Bow Yuri, hit something! I've got a heavy unit over there as well. And it's all on top of the boss. Um. Rapid fire pistol. Damn, that's six damage with a pistol every turn. That's pretty sweet. He's down. Put on Overwatch now. 
Well, Yuri's out of ammo, so he needs to reload. She can reload. Now, if memory serves, he's right there. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Got them all. Alright, so we weren't able to keep the encoder, but we did manage to keep the transmitter up. And that's all that matters in the end. Keeping one of them up. Cool. Got the 11 exalt, and we didn't lose any operatives. Sounds like a complete success to me. Cool. No level ups. Um, Kerry didn't level up either. And now we've got some exalt rifles and so forth. So we can sell them. I like to use them just because they look pretty um, by comparison to the base units. But yeah, you can sell them as well. Alright, so we're currently coming to the last little bit of this episode where we have a look at the new soldiers, which have popped in now. So, go into view soldiers and we'll just start it. Alright, so we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Bearing in mind we want to keep. Um, what is it? 75s and above at base. Um, so it's their base plus their, uh, their squaddy rank. So Nassim looks like she's gained a fair bit. Well, it's not it's not great, but I don't know. Scrap paper. Alright, so that's this will do just to keep her. Nassim Kanan, 78, 69. Alright, so what we'll do is I'll go in and I'll just put her ability in so that indicates that she's worth keeping. Uh, Alexka Nikestov, he's on the list now. He's rocking a 49 will, however, which is not good. And he's rocking it. And 83, which is fantastic. So we just go in and spend that point. Costing in. Gone. And this is why I spend that point, because you can go up and go, where was where was I? And you can see that those two have got their points spent, they, therefore there's somebody I've looked at and spent that point. Uh, yeah, he would have been a 75 aim heavy, but we've got enough aim, uh, heavies at the moment as it is, and his will is atrocious. Uh, Abasso, not good enough. Gone. Elizabeth, gone. Mikhail, definitely gone. Erica, Erica. Alright, cool. So Kanan can go. She's got a 57 in well. Erica won. And she would have had an 80. No, she would have had a 75, more likely. And she's gone up by 8 to an 83. So we'll spend her point. We'll go out. Or we'll get rid of Kanan. Emily Martin, who's an 80 heavy. Oh, with 34 will, that's just atrocious. Alright, so the aim out of this is just to get enough for a B squad at the moment. Ah, that was stupid. There we go. Got rid of her. Um, is oh jeez, I've done it again. It's just to get a B squad up and going, so that way we can start training up the next guy. So that way, when we get to that crazy mission, I keep referring to that we've got a decent enough B squad who have got enough ranks and gear that they can hold their own. Denise Clark, what are you? You're a support. You've got a 57 in Will. Clark. You would have had an 80, and you've gone up to an 84, which is quite nice. Good place to start. Emma, you're dismissed. Thank you for the tryout. Martha, same result. See you later. Miss Amy Wood, gone. Emmanuel. Gone. Safia. 
gone. Gone. Abigail. Gone. Dirk. Gone. Gone. Marguerite. Gone. 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 Kelly Ward. Gone. Masali. Gone. Charlie. No good. Jack. Definitely no good. Zena, no good. Susan Hicks, gone. Harry White, gone. Arana, gone. Lee, gone. Jawa, ooh, yeah, we got one. Assault. 49 well, which is not really good. Jawa, Meta. And it would have been 80 begin with and 85 now, which is so far the top of all the new guys and girls, which is good to see. One, gone. The walk, gone. Daily, gone. Nick Wheeler, gone. Holly Wilson, gone. Gone. Jane. Gone. Gone. Zhao. Gone. And Lucy, lucky last. Definitely gone. A sniper with 58 will, that's ridiculous. Alright, so we've got a couple of other ones that we've got from previous pull throughs, and we're going to compare them against the new guys and swap, start swapping people out. So, what did our other sniper get? Our other sniper had a 57 in will. This one has a 49. And this one has three better aim. Hmm. I'll have to keep them both along for the time being, but I've also got Papadakis. Who can go? He just he gone. <laughs> I don't know why I was keeping him. Um Henry did it graph. Fifty two eighty three compared to the other support, which was a fifty seven eighty four. I think Henrik de Graaf can stay for the time being because all I've got is Bellurian Walker at this point who should be kept for support. What's oh, Lucas Lambert? Lucas Lambert's gone. Murray McIntosh is also gone. I think I was just keeping them because they didn't want to get rid of them. Well, I had so little in terms of soldiers, but I'm up to 19 now, which is more than enough. Um, yeah, Holly Walker. Don't get me wrong, she's she's pretty good, but like she's just not there in terms of her will. Like she can be brought along to missions and so forth occasionally. Yeah. Um. Cool. I think we're okay. I think we're we're set for our crew. So this is this is the final bit, guys. We got them all. I've got more than enough. I've got 19 soldiers. That's more than enough to get me through three squads. And that'll do. Let's have a look at the medals. Uh, I've got two defenders medal. Power is make kits and restore heal when used on the soldier. I'm going to award those medals. I've been giving them to my assault class. Let's give one to White, and we'll give the other one to Alexi because they're my two main uh, heavy units, and they'll take some the they'll take some damage on occasion. I'm going to hold off on that one. That's going to go to my predominant sniper, possibly. I don't know. I haven't decided. All right, so we're going to grab some beam weaponry. Carry on new research. Because I want you guys to be able to see what's coming through. And what I'm going to do next. What are the autopsies like? They're all like four days. That's still an autopsy. Please. 
Um, when do we get our containment? Seven days. Alright, I don't think we'll be able to make it to the alien containment, but we'll definitely be able to get to the um, council report. So we'll see the council report. Here it is. Ooh, we lost somebody from the XCOM involvement. Who did we lose? Oh, we lost Brazil. Uh, no surprises there, but also no big loss. Um, so we've only really got Australia and Canada to worry about, and Argentina really, but, you know, these things happen. Oh, I didn't look at the rest of the stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, well that was stupid. Alright. So let's, what do we get from that? Uplink aim manufacturing. Oh, that's not that good. Um, let's see the skeleton suit. Let's see if we can get to the alien containment at least. No. All right, we didn't quite get there. All right, so we'll hit back. It's a bomb disposal. So we'll leave that for this time, and that will do for this episode. As always, I'm Matt from Armstrong Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed this. Just remember to like, subscribe, and share this amongst your friends. Catch you next time, guys and girls.